Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may choose surprising school for son Araki. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly planning to settle in LA long term following their dramatic move to North America earlier this year. Ever since they stepped back from their royal duties earlier this year, royal fans have been speculating what their next moves will be and how their life will change away from the traditional royal lifestyle. A question that many royal fans have been asking themselves is where Araki, who is now one years old, will go to school when he's old enough. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made the move from Vancouver to LA and have been living in a secluded compound, according to TMZ reports. While Prince Harry was educated at Elton, Meghan Markle grew up in LA, so there is a chance Araki will follow her steps when it comes to his education. The former actress attended the Hollywood School House, a private preschool and primary school. According to the academic institution's website, the fees are currently between $21,000 and $27,500 per year. The website says it nurtures, supports, and inspires children by blending traditional educational philosophy with innovative and progressive instruction. After all, author Leslie Carroll told Fox News, the Duke and Duchess moved to Macon's hometown of LA with its thriving and vibrant multicultural environment will offer Arki the chance in his most developmental years to experience a totally heterogeneous multiracial and population. She continued, the experiences that Arki will receive as a baby in America where he can regularly see other kids who resemble him will be invaluable as he grows up. But Prince Harry has been warned the Queen will watch carefully as the pair take the next steps into their independent, independent life in R.I.K. Speaking to E.T. Royal expert Kenny Nicole said, We are seeing Harry and Meghan do something that hasn't actually been done. I think it's the case of Palace watching and waiting to see what they will do. And they will be watching and they will be watching very closely. The Royal commentator continued, there is a sense of trepidation about the couple going and making a business alone. They are testing the water and anything that smacks of cashing in on their royal connections or over commercialization is going to need a very prickly response from the palace. Meghan and Harry are thinking very hard about what they want to do, how they are going to make money. Public speaking is absolutely going to be one of the key ways for them to make money, but I think they are going to be very careful about what they speak public about. Miss Nichols added, It's certainly not going to be about life behind palace walls. In April, the couple released a statement announcing the name of their new project, Ashwell, and what its purpose will be, adding that for the time being, they wanted to concentrate their efforts in helping however they could during the coronavirus crisis. A source told Vanity Fair they are in no hurry in launch Ashwell. They want to get it right, that's really important to them. This is something that they want to do for the rest of their lives, so they are not going to be pressured into launching something that's still in the relatively early stages of development. A source added, everything they are doing at the moment is part of Ashwell. Whether COVID, BLM, or their ongoing charity work, it's all part of how they're working on Ashwell and developing their work and focus going forward. Their team have been working on hate speech issues and tech for good behind the scenes since the beginning of the year. It was the focus of their visit to Stanford in February.